Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. It's very early here in Jamaica at this time. A few minutes after 5 a.m. Sorry for the worst voice. I, you know, it was in prayer meeting last night, last evening, you know, where we were crying out unto the Lord. We have to pray at this time, my brothers and sisters. Uh, I'm going to give you the instructions soon of what you need to look at and look deep in the background and you tell me in the comment section what do you see. Bless the name of Jesus. Uh, but before I get into the video, my prayers goes, goes out to those in Florida at this time as Hurricane Nicole returns. We all know what took place with Ian the other day with Florida. And for Florida to be it again, you know, it's called for concern. Um, personally, I believe, um, based on technology, um, this part of the U.S. is 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 under attack. Personally, I believe, you know, that the governor, based on the things that he stands for, um, is up for a real fight. Let me just put it as as nicely as I can. Praise the name of Jesus. Um, but my prayers goes out to those in Florida at this time. Um, knowing that these disasters, my brothers and sisters, they can be weaponized. And it's no secret for those who are awakened. Praise the name of Jesus. Um, I must say, that prayer meeting will be on tomorrow night at 7 and uh, Jamaica time and I'm going to put the link up in another video hopefully tomorrow God's willing but tonight this evening this evening we're going to be having Bible study Bible study is back we continue in the book of Acts and so I am going to post the link in the comment section for the Zoom Bible study, it's just for an hour. So, you know, we come together and we study the word together. Praise the name of Jesus. Um, but I want to go into the video this day, Lord, um, my brothers and sisters. Um, Lord, help us. That's what I wanted to say. Based on the discovery, it's shocking. Shocking, my brothers and sisters. Because... Um, Hmm. We are all guilty. Or most of us is guilty of participating in giving worship to other gods and not even knowing it, my brothers and sisters. It's serious. Uh Brother texts me yesterday and he says to me, he sent me a video and he says, look at this. Look in the background. Tell me what you see. Praise the name of Jesus. And I could not believe my brother right here from Jamaica, his wife, a simple sister. Praise the name of Jesus. And it had to be God who really show her um what was eating in the background of this video, this gospel, this popular gospel music video. You know, unbelievable. You know, I could not believe my eyes. A video that I've seen for, I've been watching this video for years. And I can't believe that I, I, I didn't see it. Bless the name of Jesus. But before I get into the details, my brothers and sisters, um, also, I just found out that Mr. Yuval, Yuari, Yuval Noah, as we know him, you know, very active at this time, working for the devil himself, praise the name of Jesus. Um, the meaning of his name 
in Hebrew is actually a creek or a small stream or a lake. His name in Hebrew um, also means also means a fountain, I believe. Bless the name of Jesus. But not only that, the interesting thing about this Yuval in Hebrew is that based on the Jews in the Bible, the Jewish Bible, he is the founder, this name is the founder of the invention of music. The founder of the invention of music. Uh, this name in the Jewish Bible, this is the name of the individual that started out with the instruments, the playing of instruments. Bless the name of Jesus. And so Yuval is connected, this name, to the invention of music. And the next interesting thing about this individual, my brothers and sisters, is that in the Jewish Bible also, based on um, tracing the, the, the bloodline, Mr. Yuval, this name is connected, is coming from the descendants of Cain. He is coming from the descendants of Cain. And we know in the Bible who Cain was. Bless the name of Jesus. We know in the Bible who Cain was. Praise the name of Jesus. So, let's go into the video. I'm not going to be long. There's a song, a popular song, that came out a few years ago. And this song goes like this. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship in one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. This song has took the world by storm. It has hit the globe. Came out and it did well. Very popular gospel song. From my previous church, my, my worship leader at the time, she's passed now. Um, she's passed on and gone. God bless her soul. She used to sing this song. Love this song. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship. And you know, this gentleman, his name is Ezekiah Walker. The one that, he is the one who done, did the song. Ezekiah Walker. Every praise. And he's, you know, oftentimes you'll watch the video, you hear him. All over the world. He keeps saying, all over the world. Every praise. Every praise is to our God. But there's something about this music video that is very disturbing my brothers and sisters very disturbing because when i was told to take another look on the video but this time try to see past mr ezekiah walker look past the dancing look past the singing look past the dress codes and the colors and all that. Look in the background. And I'm going to ask you to go to that video, my brothers and sisters, for yourself. And look in the background. And what you will see is the goat, the Baphomet, right in the background of this music video. And Mr. Ezekiah Walker himself he stands exactly. This cannot be a coincidence. He was standing right in front of the goat. Singing. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship 
is to our God. All over the world, sing hallelujah to our God. Glory, hallelujah, in one accord. All over the world, every praise. And there is something that is very interesting. When I was taking a deeper look into this video, I come to realize that all the cameras, the, the cell phones, all the excitement was not about Ezekiah singing. When I look, finally, as I allow the Holy Spirit to bring me deeper into this video, I realize that the excitement was about the God of this world. The deity that represents the God of this world. And that deity is the goat. And so all the, film, the, the, the filming and the people in the video taking pictures and families were so excited. The excitement was about the goat, my brothers and sisters. And so let me go further with some further detail because I also went and did my research. Bless the name of Jesus. And so this song came out the year 2013. And where was this song done? This song was done at Five Point Five Points Fountain. Five Point Fountain also called Satanic Storyteller in Birmingham, Alabama. A place called Birmingham, Alabama. At that place is a five point fountain. Otherwise called Satanic Storyteller. In this fountain, you will see the picture of the goat in the midst with a book, with a scroll. And thank you, Holy Spirit. Yuval also means a scroll, a book. Bless the name of Jesus. The, 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 the inventor of music. I want you to connect all the dots, my brothers and sisters. And so, the storyteller, the goat in the middle of this fountain, and all around the goat were other animals stooping down. Some seems to be bowing down. You can look at the picture yourself. Talk back to me in the comment section. While the goat is in the midst. And so the question is, why? Would this video be done at this location? And another interesting thing is that right behind this fountain is a church, a Methodist church at Birmingham, Alabama. Bless the name of Jesus. The goat. I know that the church is so asleep that many believers out there don't have any idea of the goat and what the goat represents. The symbol, the signs. And so many believers out there are taking pictures with all different signs that represents the goat. Signs of the Baphomet. It was just last night before I went to bed, I saw an elder brother of mine taking a picture with his granddaughter. And both of them was making the goat sign. My God Almighty. The church is so asleep. And so, all of us, let me, let, let me be real. In ignorance, I've been singing a song for so long. Every praise is to our God. But the question is, who was the God that Ezekiah Walker was talking about? Who was the God that all these people were in the street dancing and celebrating, lifting up, exalting all over the world? Every praise is to our God. 
My brothers and sisters, the devil has been on the move for quite some time. The devil has been gaining stride all over the world for quite some time. We know that the devil number one desire was for worship. This is why he was cast out of heaven with one third of the angels. Because he had the desire to gain the worship that was due to the most high God. And so in the earth, the enemy is gaining stride, my brothers and sisters. Even from the body of Christ, many of us offering worship to this God in ignorance. But the question is this morning, was Ezekiah Walker innocent? Was he being set up? Bless the name of Jesus. Was these, all these people that were dancing, singing, and I believe that majority of them are believers. Were they ignorant of what they were doing? Were they innocent? And it's hard for me to believe that they are totally innocent, my brothers and sisters. And I'll tell you why. Because if I'm a minister of the gospel in music, and the one that is, you know, and Brother Michael, you can help me with this. The one that is responsible, you know, for the, to, to organize the video, to create the video. And you bring me to a location where this location has a fountain, the five point fount um, fountain, well known, the, the, the otherwise known as the satanic fountain. Why would I want to do a gospel music video? Standing at one point in the video, Ezekiel Walker was standing on the fountain. Why would I want to do a gospel video? Standing before the goat, standing on this fountain, singing, every praise is to our God. Why wouldn't I want to Examine the environment, the surrounding. Another thing in the video is that there's in the background also there's a headless man in the dark. Right throughout the video, a headless man was in the dark of this video, my brothers and sisters. And the next thing that I'm struggling to believe that he could be innocent is the wording of the song because why hasn't the name of all name mentioned in the song why didn't i hear anything about my jesus because we know in this earth there are many gods the bible tells us that there are many lords and there are many gods bless the name of jesus but there is one name that is above all name and the word of god tells us that whatsoever, oh bless the name of Jesus, whatsoever we do in word or deed, do it in the name of Jesus Christ. And so we are participating in a lot of songs that is actually not unto our God, Jesus. How do I know that our God is Jesus? How do I know that the name of my God is Jesus? Because when Jesus came on earth, he told us in the gospel, Matthew, Mark, he, he told us, he said, I have come in my father's name. And so there's no debate. Jesus says, when the son of man was in the earth, the blessed lamb of God, he told us all. He says, I have come in my father's name. He came in no other name but the name of his father. And so if Jesus was Jesus, then God, his name, is Jesus. And they are one without any debate. Bless the name of Jesus. I and the father are one. Bless the name of Jesus. And so this entire song, every praise is to our God. And the Baphomet was right there in the background. My brothers and sisters. And so we can see and understand all the connections coming together. And that is why Kirk Franklin was bold enough 
uh, uh, um, over a month ago at the last BT award where he did the freestyle and he told the world boldly because they know what time it is my brothers and sisters they are not hiding anymore everything now is out in the open bless the name of Jesus and they are making us know whose side they are on Kirk Franklin told the world that the lion and the lamb will bow down to the goat. You hear what I said? He says that the lion and the lamb will bow down to the goat. The very goat that Ezekiah Walker from 2013 in his music video was celebrating, was singing and dancing and telling the world that every praise is to our God. Bless the name of Jesus, the God of this world, the devil himself, the Baphomet, the goat, Kirk Franklin. Years after, come and he tells us again, you're not hiding, that the lion and the lamb, bless the name of Jesus, will bow down to the goat. The devil is a liar. Bless the name of Jesus. The devil is a liar, my brothers and sisters. Every knee shall bow down. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And so my brothers and sisters, many of us are guilty because of the kind of music that we listen to. Um, Lauren Daigle is another um, gospel artist, a female artist. And I've, I noticed she's she done quite a few songs that I love so much in the past. But they are not on my playlist anymore. Because I've come to realize that not one of her songs has the name Jesus in it. Not one of her songs. You know, she did this song. You say I am love when I can't feel a thing. You say I am strong when I think I am weak. Everything in the song, you say, you say, you say. And when you listen, at least all of her songs, it's going to always be about you, you, you. She did another song, I Can Trust You, you. But she does not mention the name of Jesus. My brothers and sisters, the enemy struggle to hear the name Jesus. The enemy struggle. The enemy does not want to hear the name Jesus. And so all these are signs. All these are clues that many of these so-called gospel songs are not of God. Bless the name of Jesus. And so how many of us was dancing with Mr. Ezekiah Walker from 2013? Clapping and singing. Every praise is to our God. The question this morning, talk back to me in the comment section. Which God were they talking about? Because we know that the Baphomet represents the God of this world, the God of the elites, the God of the dark side. Bless the name of Jesus. The God of entertainment, the God of Hollywood. Oh, God Almighty. And you know, it's hard for me to say this, but it's the truth. The God of sports. And that's why you hear they say, um, Messi is the goat. Michael Jordan is the goat. Whoever is the best in whatsoever they do. Uh, LeBron James is the goat. Baby Ruth is the goat. In comedy, oh my God, Dave Chappelle is the goat. Once you're good at something, what they're actually calling these people a God in what they do. A God in what they do. Because the goat represents their God. Let us be careful, my brothers and sisters. We are in a time of great deception. And when they do a lot of these music videos, they flash who they really are in the background. And if you know, because they know, they know that it's going to miss. It's, go, it's going to go right past us. But they love to flash what they do. 
before our eyes and laugh at us because we will not take the time to realize what is really happening. Let us be careful, my brothers and sisters. Great time of deception. We need to really pray more for the spirit of discernment. I pray for you, you pray for me. God bless you. Love you, my brothers and sisters. Until we meet again. In Jesus' name.